Welcome to my channel. This is the next episode of Daily News Clips. But before we get to that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for making this channel what it is. I really do appreciate everything that you do. We have a number of items on the news list today. The first one is a Kentucky Senator in a discussion in the Senate about funding sex dolls for pedophiles with state tax dollars. Can't even believe they're having this discussion in Kentucky, but this Kentucky Senator called pedophiles minor attracted persons. Minor attracted persons. The people on the left continue to try and bastardize and distort our language and twist it around into something that it's not to get away from the truth. The next thing you know, we'll be talking about bovine or porcine attracted persons. Call it what it is. Pedophilia, bestiality, deviant behavior. It needs to not become acceptable in our society. It needs to become not the norm. And to twist the language like that to try and make it the norm is disgusting. In Arizona, the legislature passed a bill to allow the police to arrest illegal aliens. And I will put all of this in the description as I always do. Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs vetoed the bill, thus sealing her fate. She will be kicked out in the next election, trust me, because people are fed up with immigration across the country, as you will see in some of the other articles that I'm going to bring up. Um, a research group has uncovered an Air Force memo that reveals the Air Force is using a racial quota system. <clears throat> in, including, in, in, in addition to DEI and all the other things that the Air Force is doing, they have gone... 110% woke. It's unbelievable. I mean, the purpose of the military is to kill the enemy. That's their purpose. They may have secondary purposes, but that is their primary purpose, is to kill the enemy. And if you don't train those people to kill the enemy, then they are going to be killed by the enemy, and that's what's going to happen. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really concerned that the next conflict that the United States gets involved in is going to be heavy casualties on our side. Because we're not training men to fight, we're training them to be sensitive and, and just uh, to think about race. Race doesn't mean a damn thing when the bullets are flying over your head, trust me. Race goes away quick when you're in combat. But if you're not trained to handle it, if you're trained to handle race, you're going to die. It's that simple. This needs to stop. A Fox News reporter uh, put NBC hosts in their place for <coughs> mocking voters. And I'm going to show you the clip. Let's see. Uh, this, is, this is just... Uh, well, uh, let's just watch together. Well, Bill, because there was no event last night, you had plenty of time to uh, actually be watching things on X. And in fact, um, you responded to this soundbite yesterday, last night, after it was uh, determined, you mentioned uh, Virginia a moment ago, according to the exit polls, the number one issue with the voters across the board in the Commonwealth of Virginia was migration and the border. And that prompted this conversation. If you look at some of these exit polls, I mean, I live in Virginia. Immigration was the number one issue. <laughs> yes. I mean, again, these could change in, in Virginia. Well, Virginia does have a border with West Virginia. <laughs> very, very contested but you're area. Build the wall. Like, what? And say, so then, Bill, you're nodding your head. You jumped on X and essentially said, 
uh, and I'll read it only because you can't see it. Two weeks ago in Virginia, an illegal from Venezuela was arrested and charged with sexually assaulting a 14-year-old girl in Virginia. He crossed illegally into Texas in September, released by the U.S. government after that. Yeah, I mean, talk about out of touch, mm -hmm. listening to them giggle and laugh and joke about, oh, well, they got a border with West Virginia. Uh, look, it's just out of touch. We've been down there the last three years and we've watched as this issue has taken over the entire country. It's no longer just Arizona, California, Texas, New Mexico. Look what's happened to the sanctuary cities. Look what's happened ever since Governor Abbott started busing them around the country. Ask Lake and Riley's parents right. if the border mm -hmm. and immigration is something to giggle about. Yeah. Um, it just shows a massive, massive uh, out of touch moment for those hosts there to be giggling about that. Ask that 14 year old girl mm -hmm. in Virginia if she's laughing about the fact that an illegal alien from Venezuela who crossed our border illegally and was released into the country uh, with no legal basis to be here and allegedly sexually assaulted her. Ask that girl if she thinks it's funny. Yeah, no, right. um, it'll affect her the life polls, forever. Yeah. Y y yeah, and look, the exit polls in all these different states that we've been it's covering, issue. almost all of them have shown. Yeah, it's the number one issue, even more than the economy. So um, laugh at it at your own risk. The voters will have their say in November. Yeah, the thing is, Bill, uh, they're not just hosts. One was Joe Biden's press secretary. Yeah. You know, our governor in Texas has been sending illegal immigrants to all the sanctuary cities. And all of a sudden, those areas which have been insulated from illegal immigration when it was low, are getting a massive dose of what it's like to have illegal immigrants pouring into your place, sucking up all your tax dollars, taking up all the space, pushing out American citizens like black citizens in Chicago who are outraged at what's going on. And then for these news anchors and news people and commentators to sit there on TV and laugh about it, they just, they don't have a clue what's going on in our country. They really don't. They don't have any idea how mad people are. The final article I want to show you also has to do with the illegal immigration. The, a Florida sheriff has excoriated Congress, both sides of Congress, after a human tra trafficking operation found illegal aliens using federal flight vouchers. They're using federal flight vouchers to move trafficked women around the country for sex. You can't make this stuff up. It's so crazy. It, it, it's, it's just beyond the pale. It's, it's completely, it's just out. I see, I can't even, I can't even describe it. It's so out of touch. It just absolutely blows my mind. It's like they don't have a clue. They really do not have a clue. What are you going to do? If the American people don't vote these idiots out of office in November, then it's over. America is over. It's just that simple. We cannot, we cannot continue like this. We just cannot. As always, I'll put all the links in the description. I'll also provide you a link to the uh, the actual uh, a video that shows the, the people on that program making fun of people who are upset about illegal immigration. They just obviously, I mean, you know, they make large incomes. They live in cloistered communities. They have no concept of what it's like to be a normal human being like you and me and to have to deal with this stuff on a daily basis. They have no idea what it's like to have a teenage daughter raped, to have a two-year-old child killed by illegal immigrants that were let into the country deliberately by a Congress and a presidency that could care less about what happens to you and me. It's outrageous. As for you, my followers, wherever you are in the world, 
I pray for you. I pray that you will live an abundant life. I pray that none of this bad stuff will happen to you personally. I pray that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long time and that God will keep you safe from harm. And I pray he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out.